Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Panscore 2. We're playing the Grand Campaign or the Axis Operations as they would call it. Let's uh, continue here. So, these guys still alive. Which means, technically, I can cut off these guys. And... Yeah, the militia actually does have a chance to damage me. So, we'll see about attacking. That's the first thing. So, secondly, we are going to try. Well, thing is that these guys can only just be damaged so I kind of need to encircle them and then destroy them dealing with the military or making the militia surrender it's not super amazing oh they have another BA6 uh oh hmm now these guys again are rendered impotent because they are conveniently further to the back but basically Like, taking care of that, it's not super useful. I could make surrender this militia, but I wonder if I will not actually get into more trouble because of that. Probably not, though. No, I think that will be fine. Alright, so they got surrendered. And clearing out at least the militias also has another added positive effect, and that's that I have more space for maneuvering which is going to be quite important too. So if they have another BA-6, I do have the chance to actually capture some. Let's attack here. I want this militia to survive actually. Despite militias being fairly weak, it can actually help me in potential counteroffensive. I do need to protect the anti-tank from units such as this, which do still have a pretty high chance of damaging it. So the, against the militia, it's fine because it has a 15 per attack. So I guess I do rather... I'm gonna attack it that way and then move in here. These guys cannot go around because the hills is one and a half, two and a half, three, four. Yeah, so they cannot get up there. And by actually lowering this, I think they can protect themselves even if these guys die and they want to go around to this flock and they're not gonna attack into this combination with any of those they might try it with these malicious
Yeah, that that's the one thing that's a potentially worrying. But they might deal one or two. Right, so like I said, I do need to get rid of this. And this is the soundest way to do it. Easiest way. Because that allows me to encircle these. And these are all malicious, so even though this is not the most amazing, I think this might work fine. Five heart attack. Interestingly, like I don't get why they claim it's zero. Oh yeah, there's no retaliation. I got it. Uh, the bad weather is not ideal, even on this turn. If I pull these guys back, oh, let's just repair them. With its high defense, I still don't see a whole lot of units actually being able to damage it that well. And I'm also just going to repair these. I have plenty of prestige, so I'm not too worried. Just in case, I'll also do this. So that um, it's more likely just to go and repair. Let's see if I can shoot down at least one I-15 over here. Good. So we only have one enemy plane left. For now at least. Still a, a tricky situation. Hmm. Need to bomb in places where I have fighter coverage at least as well. All right. One, two, three, four, huh? Defending is probably still the best option for now. Oh, you're getting into my retreat space. Oh, they already are done. Wow, they attacked. Ah, oh, that's my guys. Wow, never mind. Okay, good to know that they just moved there. It's not too bad. Hmm. Okay. 
I always hate it when the artillery actually deals damage to my armor units. It's not a good idea attacking the Trubia. They can't actually deal damage to the T26, so... Yeah, they did use their extended movement. Not surprised. But I was able to minimize the damage, at least. A lot of units that are now encircled suddenly. But it's not as if the enemy is in a very uh, good position either. I don't have to worry so much about the enemy air force, but uh, uh, you are quite stuck now. That is a problem. Let's see what might be possible. It's actually a bit tricky now. Let's start this way. Fighters down. They do have anti aircraft, which is unfortunate. But I do have some free bombing runs now. Alright, so on this side. Definitely looking to uh, get rid of that enemy T26 and to cover my flanks and I'll just let the puck do the work there. Or not. I'll just let the T26 do the work there. Alright, so that's down. Okay, this should clear them out. And will allow me to retreat the Fagdeja. Because I need to pull back a little bit in order to make sure that my units don't actually get encircled. They're in a dangerous spot right now and being so much suppressed is actually not good. What I can do, however...
is not get rid of this. That's okay. Um, you are gonna retreat back though. over here I'm not a big fan of the hills Because hills means close defense. Because basically, I just have to gamble on them not having any extended movement. I'm not too sure whether they do. That's uh, the tricky part. But maybe they'll focus upon the, the front area, which would be ideal. Like if they were to try and attack on that side, that that's what I want. I'll just move back for now. They might actually attack into that, make it surrender though. Yeah, so for now I'm doing it like this. And... First attack them when they retreat. But again this will encircle them. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna rebase these guys because I actually think they might try to take it. So one, two, three, four. I probably should be betting on them. But I actually don't think they're gonna attack these. Interesting choice. Just like this. It's like, wow. That's super aggressive. Especially for a unit that's supposed to be defending. Okay. So I didn't aim for this thing. Can we stop using artillery to deal damage to my troops? Like they hit so often. Uh, 
I'll check it soon. Yeah, these guys are dead. Well, with 10% chance, it makes a lot of sense that they hit. But I wonder why the odds are so high. 14 heart attack. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, that's funny. Doing an encirclement there. This is... Okay, what am I gonna do? So, I guess the Trubia in this case makes, makes most sense. Trying to go after that and then encircling some guys over here. Because I think now going for encirclements, especially for these guys, that's going to be important. Although I can't particularly encircle them. Unless I move up here. They still have plenty of juice, but I just need to get rid of units, enemy units one by one. Let's see where they keep going. There, that's fine. So both of these are practically neutralized. Taking those fine, as long as they cannot repair, this is pretty good. Even if I might potentially take a bit of damage. So it's not too likely. Alright, because that clears out this entire flank and allows me to start working on enveloping the center. I kind of would like to do the same here, but that does not seem to be possible just about yet. They, they would not be able to be repaired because I don't have any more BA-6s. So I, I do need to work on capturing those. Anti-aircraft is now in the way. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to indeed work on finishing off these. I already thought it was weird that they did not look like they were encircled. So, let's start with you. Go in there. Overrun. Oh, 
run. And then I think Moving these guys here opens them up to too many attacks. So let's do this. Sure. Got another two enemy units, so it's not too bad. Cannot re encircle these guys from this position. So, actually, I'd rather move them away. So, this way they might recover at least their suppression. Yeah, but let's just do this. Alright, still have a few fighters. Which can potentially prove useful but only against their fringes. And they can still move and then attack me, so maybe... They're for now better used to the sides. And that's fine. Quite surprising. They put that artillery so far up front. Technically, my units are still defending. They scaled them at least. They escaped, so they will repair, but... It's not the end of the world. I would actually like some of these to survive, but... Shabby. Again, I'm still working on the flanks. Eesh. T26. But I'm still quite boxed in. Cannot split my units. Mm. Not 
Let's see what happens. Really? They go there, huh? Okay. Let's get an overrun there. Like, uh, what I'm trying to do now is get rid of that big gotta mix stuff. This should do the trick. Or not, if you only deal one damage. Jeez. There we go. And re-encircles this militia. So that we can actually... Uh, yeah, these guys are completely toast now. No need to worry about it. So not super close to getting rid of them. The most important thing to do is to clear out entire units. And kills them. It's another one down. And then these guys retreated, but They'll be in... Well, then they won't be in trouble, but... They will not be able to perform. So let's just attack. And... Actually make sure that our units cannot get encircled here. I think that's fine, actually. Keep them like this in this formation. That should be okay. Now that these guys are, are removed, I can still pull you back. Let's see. What use is moving up here? Well, it exposes the artillery to the recon. So... Not the best. Don't I have UNL 35s anymore? It could be though. No, I do. That's just because of the attack. Right. Um.
I'll just leave you here. So this is actually still quite useful, I think, despite those anti-aircrafts being there. damage is definitely not worth it. Where did that happen? Oh, it's against the artillery. Hmm. Okay, and it solves that problem. This is not a good idea. Really? That's bad because now they'll move in there. Didn't think they would actually retreat, but. Yeah. So these will probably die. Yeah. Oof, that's super lucky. I don't really mind those attacks though. This is Oh, that's insane. Three damage. E it's only flank ain't doing so well anymore even though we were doing okay on that side more t26s right i think rounding up this area First, it's gonna be pretty important. So let's work on that. Only now do I realize that I have no chance to actually get at this thing. Right, well, let's start with these. They might retreat and then I can still make them surrender. Ha. All right, good. 
That gives me more AAC, so I can actually uh, upgrade one of my recon units. So then there we go. This this is actually quite tricky, but I did unhinge them in one area. Stupid anti-aircraft. It's a serious problem. Let's move the Ryo on top. For some additional firepower against this thing. I needed to retreat in order to get the tang out. Okay, good. Yeah, they're... Anti-aircraft are pretty much blocking any effective bombing on that area on my part. Can try to damage some artillery, it's not too bad. I think this is rather safe now, and it's a bit closer, so that might actually help me. Then... Oh, they have even more units, huh? Not gonna lie, that's a bit unexpected. Let's actually shift some of this artillery over to the other side. Because then I can shell in the center. So, like I said, I do need to retreat in this part a bit again. Yes, that just wasted a little bit of its ammo, but it didn't do a whole lot besides. We'll see how that goes. So BA5 has six movements. I would think it would be able to move up there. Yeah, this is fine for now. Not really sure why they didn't repair, they could have. It's a militia after all. 
I mean, it's nice that the artillery is gone. That I do acknowledge. I'm actually very happy that they attacked from that side. Okay, good. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I mean, the anti-aircraft is annoying, but uh, not overly so. is also militia so they are naturally a bit weaker mm -hmm. all right i guess we survived uh so i'm gonna end the video here i want to thank you for watching do hope you enjoyed this if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.